channel. But if this is your first time here, I'm Cara Wesley on a budget, and today we back at it again with another phenomenal video. So y'all already know the drill. Grab that drink, grab that snack, and let's chit chat. So before we get started, I do have a couple of disclaimers. Uh, first things first, Trey's running around doing something crazy. Y'all gonna hear some background noise. Also, this video is not sponsored yet. I did pick up all these items with my own coin. Now anything that you see me utilize in this video today, it will be listed down below. I'm finding all these things at great affordable prices for you. Okay, so if you want to see what I'm talking about and what company I'm working with today, just keep watching. Let's get it. So loves, we're back with another budget baddie banger. As y'all can see, my hands are semi-prepped. They're ready to go, but my hands itself was looking ashy, dry, and needing a lot of TLC. So we're working with Dollar Tree nails again. We're doing the seven nail from Dollar Tree. So you know if you want a full mani, I highly encourage that you pick up two packs. So that's around 250, okay? So I just picked these up also in my last haul. I will have them listed in the cards above. But I seen this and I felt like it was ending spring, jumping straight into summer. Now these are like your everyday nail if you can wear some nail art. I also wanted to see about, you know, applying this with a Gel X method. So we are gonna use two types of glues, but this is the first one. This is the nail glue gel from a cart. And then I end up using a solid nail glue gel that y'all will see later on in the video. Also right here, I'm showing you my nails are already prepped. I do have on the Peel It Off Base Coats by McCart as well. Um, I was only wearing these for literally the weekend and I wanted to take them off. And then I, um, I'm showing you that's what this is right here. So I'm gonna use some other Macar items that I will have listed in the description box below just in case you wanna check those out. Please don't forget that Amazon will be having their Prime Day sale on July the 11th and 12th. So I'm gonna be trying to bring you some of those items too. So out of the array of nails, once it focuses, this is how my nails will be looking. So you see there's a lot of different colors, a lot of different designs. Um, I don't wanna go too in depth into this video. I just want you all to watch as I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna briefly go over me using the first um, nail glue gel that isn't a solid form. I do, like that solid, uh, that nail glue. I just didn't think it was great for this particular nail. It was a matte nail already to begin with, so you see a lot more of the imperfections. So that was my only con with applying it this way. But outside of that, um, it was pretty fine. Now, if you're not, if you want to keep these nails on for a longer period of time, please do not use the peel it off base coat. Just use a base coat for. Um, instead of that because you can leave them on for you can have them on for the two week period Now that I'm messing up and I know I've been gone I've been trying to get my hydration and stuff back up I want you loves to just watch and enjoy you know what I'm doing today and then I'll pop back in Right here is where I started with the solid nail glue gel. I just did not like the way my pinky and ring finger was looking. And due to the fact that I have to fix those imperfections before I put like a top coat or anything like that on, 
I just decided to switch the glue. It was easier. I love a solid nail glue gel. It's easy to mold. I can clean up easier. So that's pretty much what I'm showing you right here. Now, whatever method is preferred of your choosing, I advise that you stick with it. I'm just a solid nail glue gel girl when it comes to the Gel X method. Due to the fact these nails were in a really short length for me, I prefer this better. Um, you all can let me know down in the comments when you're applying your Gel X method, which nail glue you prefer. Is it more of a bottle um, or a liquid, liquid form with like the brush? or if you like the first method I try or now the solid nail glue gel. So I wanna hear what's your favorite. Now that the nails are all applied, um, y'all can see what I was talking about with my ring finger and pinky it was looking a little bit of janky. So I decided to, you know, clean it up with a nail file and a cuticle remover. I do uh, apologize that I didn't use a Dollar Tree nail file. They have the ones by Diamond in there and they're really, really good. So this is the cuticle cutter, cuticle remover that I have from Dollar Tree that I'll be using to get some of the excess glue away from my nail bed, like the cuticle area and along the sides. I also, since these are matte nails, decided to try out this matte top coat. I've never utilized this and I love the top of this because it's different. Now don't talk about me because you can see teeth marks in my red one top coat. But um, I like that so you can tell a difference between the two when you're just reaching. So I was like, let's go ahead and apply that to all the nails and see how she wears. Honestly, my review, maybe because these nails are a little on the cheaper side, I didn't like it so much, but I do know if you're actually building the nail and doing all other things that I'm unable to do at the moment, this product is fine. So just for me, I probably would have stuck with a glossy or top coat because to me, it just made it look cuter. Um, and it just wasn't giving everything I wanted to give for the final results. So you know me, if it's not gonna give everything it needs to give, I'm just gonna go and add some more things to it. 
So this is something that you also have to use the UV lamp for as well if you're going to use a top coat. So that's how it's looking. I decided to use this Sassy and Chic cuticle oil and nail strengthener to see if it will brighten up, liven up the nails. It still wasn't giving what I need to give. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna add nail art. So you loves have seen me add this type of nail art plenty of times. I didn't wanna go too extravagant because I was only leaving the nails on for the weekend. So I decided to pull out these flowers. Again, I'm just gonna let you love see how they are. And you all let me know the final results. I still give this uh, eight out of 10. I love these nails. I will always pick these nails up. If you don't like the way the final result is looking, you can always go in and add some very simple nail art on it. That's pretty much what I'm trying to show you, love, so you don't have to pay an arm and a leg at these salons just in case you don't have the funds to do so. Or if you're on vacation, you can repair this yourself. So y'all let me know how I did. What do you rate this manning? Of course, like I said, I would give it an eight out of 10. Y'all let me know if you tried out these nails, if you tried out any of these products. Also, if you've been trying to do some nail art as of late. So honestly, I'm gonna try to be down in the comments like right after this video, just for you loves. And don't forget to check out the description box. I will have all the items that are linkable down below. Please do not forget about the Amazon Prime Day sale. I'm gonna try to say that in every video because if you support this channel, you know I'm an Amazon associate. So it does help out this channel for me to get a few items for you loves. So far, y'all have gotten me a little bit of change. So I really do appreciate it. Um, but that is definitely the time to shop. So from the third all the way up to the 12th is really going to be some amazing savings. If you catch me over on my Amazon, out my Amazon, my Instagram, I will be trying to link daily some new things that I find that are very budget friendly. I'm going to try to find everything that's $30 and below so you can pick up multiple items and not just one because a lot of people love to say this is very budget friendly, but I can only get one item. If you like me, I like to shop sometimes so I want one or two items okay three or four items four or five items six or seven items so I really want to get them at a really budget affordable price so please check please check out that description box don't skip it okay uh, put some things in your cart because the third is tomorrow okay so I'm gonna be trying to just really give you love some budget friendly items so now I'm down in the comments waiting on you love
while trying to be informative all at the same time. And sometimes I just be too litty, okay? But if you love this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you love this content and you want to see more of it. Don't forget that sharing is caring, so please share with a family member, a friend, or a coworker. Now, I've been saying this week after week, video after video, month after month, and clearly year after year. I'm literally watching you all watch me but a lot of y'all not subscribe. You wanna see how to get these deals, steals, and you know, thrills, but you're not subscribed to the, you know, the tribe. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I do awesome uploads like this. And you can also follow me over on my social medias. You can find me on IG, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. And there, my name is Leona Budget Zero on all four of those platforms. And over there, I love to cater to beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So, I'm helping you out in a lot of ways. Now, please don't forget the real reason why I'm here, which is to slay on a budget, hence the name, okay? We don't want to look like a struggle while we out here saving. We want to be slaying while saving, okay? So whatever your dream is, I'm helping you to get there, okay? That's why I'm here. And don't forget about the most important thing that I put in each and every video. And I really do mean every video. It's been in every single video. And that is the verse of the day and that God loves you and so do I. But in the meantime, there's always more videos to catch up on. So until next time, loves. Bye.